Hello Woodburn, I'm Scott Derrickson, the Woodburn City Administrator. We hope this message finds you safe and healthy. Despite the COVID-19 pandemic, I want you to know that City Hall remains focused on protecting you and serving this community. Despite our facilities and many of our programs being closed or suspended, our staff continues to work behind the scenes to ensure that critical public safety infrastructure continues, that police department continues to function, and that our water and wastewater facilities continue to provide services to you. We hope that you take the opportunity to watch all of this video and to make sure that you continue to follow good sanitation and social distancing practices through the duration of this. Although we don't know how long this will go, we do know that if we work together, that we follow the protocols, that this will end sooner than later and that fewer people will be impacted. So do the best you can to protect yourself and your family and your community. Hello Woodburn, my name is Lee Espy. I'm the site administrator at Salem Health Medical Clinic in Woodburn. Hello Woodburn, I'm Jim Ferreris, your Woodburn Police Chief. Hi Woodburn, I'm Dr. Julie Broyhill, Primary Care Medical Director for Legacy Health. Greetings, this is Eric Swenson, Mayor of Woodburn. Soy el alcalde de Woodburn, Eric Swenson. The COVID-19 pandemic has presented many challenges over the last several weeks. Not only on a global national level, but also it's been a challenge here in our community in Woodburn. And it's especially sobering in Marion County, which has the highest infection rate in the state. Thank you for complying with Governor Brown's Stay Home, Save Lives order. I'm encouraged by the work we have done with social distancing in Oregon to slow the spread of COVID-19. While you all have done a good job, we must continue and sustain our efforts. By staying home whenever possible and maintaining six feet of distance if you have to go out. Please, I know the weather is nice and I know your kids are driving you crazy and everyone wants to move on with their lives as they normally would. But now is not the time to take our foot off the gas. By staying at home, you are saving lives. Let's do our part to keep each other safe and minimize the effects of this virus. Limiting contact with others is key to flattening the curve and preventing the spread of this virus to others in the community, to our coworkers and friends, and with our own families. Unless you are an essential worker on your way to work, going to the doctor or making an essential trip to the grocery store, please stay home. If you do become sick or have any questions about COVID-19, please contact your primary care provider's office first. We are often able to take care of you through telephone or video visits and get you drive through testing if indicated. Let's continue to keep our community safe, stay the course, and continue the fight against this virus. Please continue to follow the Stay Home, Save Lives guidelines. We're all having to do things differently. We're all having to change the way that we live our lives. Don't let this run of nice weather distract you from exercising proper social distancing. By staying at home, you help protect those that cannot, like those grocery store workers, healthcare workers, police, firefighters, and first responders. So Woodburn, let's do our part to keep each other safe and minimize the effects of this virus. Stay home, stay safe, and stay healthy. Thank you. Remember to stay well by eating a healthy diet, getting some exercise, get plenty of sleep, wash your hands, and please stay home. Please team up with us to stop the spread of COVID-19. Remember, staying home saves lives. La pandemia COVID-19 ha presentado muchos desafíos en las últimas semanas, no solo a nivel global y nacional, sino que también ha sido un desafío a nivel local para nuestra comunidad aquí en Woodburn. El trabajo que hemos hecho con el distanciamiento social para frenar la propagación de COVID-19 está trabajando, pero tenemos que continuar ese trabajo quedándonos en casa lo más que sea posible y manteniendo seis pies de distancia cuando salimos. Hay que hacer nuestra parte para mantenernos seguros y minimizar los efectos de este virus. Limitar el contacto con los demás es clave para aplanar la curva y prevenir la propagación de este virus a otros en la comunidad, nuestros compañeros del trabajo y amigos y adentro de nuestras propias familias. Quédense en casa, manténgase seguro y manténgase saludables. Muchas gracias.